Today I want to talk some more about tungsten cable. We've already talked about how tungsten cable is the go-to wire rope for surgical robots. How we start with wire that's a third of diameter of a human hair and how we take hundreds of those wires, strand them together to make ultra flexible cable when you hold it in your hand, falls off of it like water cascading off of a cliff. But today I wanna to talk more about the tungsten cable itself, specifically the cutting process. Cutting tungsten cable compared to say, copper electrical wire by comparison is completely different. When you're cutting copper electrical wire, you can take a pair of dollar store wire snips out of your pocket, grab onto the copper wire, you can yank, you can pull, you can tear the wires apart and end up with a cut that looks like a complete disaster. And that's perfectly fine because the copper is very malleable where you can take your fingers, twist it back up and it, it, it'll twist perfectly fine and feed it into the mating part. Done, end of story and you're moving on. But what if you had a cut like that and you couldn't fix it, you couldn't make it prettier? What if the opening that it had to be fed into had an opening maybe a thousandth of an inch larger than the cable itself? A thousandth of an inch. By comparison, a common household paper clip is 40 thousandths of an inch. So your room for error is 40 times less than this here. Now we're talking about handling and cutting tungsten cable. So in cutting tungsten cable, there's three potential issues that you can run into. The first issue you can run into is the cable can fray, like this here. The cable when cut, the wires begin to unwind, it might spring open, and in some cases you can double the diameter or more and again, if you only have a thousandth of an inch of clearance, the cable would be completely unusable. You'd have to recut the cable, or if you don't have enough material left over, throw away the cable and start over. Another issue you can run into is that the cable cut can, can introduce a burr. And when a burr is, is on the cable end, it has a rough edge, sometimes a sharp edge. When you're dealing with metal wire rope, a rough or a sharp edge can cut, it can snag, and a great comparison to this is if you're wearing a sweater and you walk past a table and the threads of your sweater get caught on the corner of a table. That corner is comparable to a burr. And the same thing happens with wire rope. If you're trying to feed that through a mating part and a burr that's sticking out grabs onto the side walls of that and doesn't want to go completely through. An example of that is this cable here where the burr is actually not even on the outside of the cable it's right in the middle and it's sharp, it pricks my finger. Another problem you can run into is that the cable just generally deforms. Take a tennis ball which is completely round and you compress it from top to bottom, you're actually reducing the diameter of it, which is good. However, laterally in the middle of it, you're expanding it. So if you do something like that with a piece of cable, if you're, you're mechanically cutting it and compressing it, you're actually gonna elongate the middle of it and make it larger than its original profile. I have an example of that here where it was mechanically cut. You see the top and bottom were crushed. What happened to the middle? It made it, you know, made it much wider. Again, this is something that you just can't use. So how do we solve this problem? The answer is that the cable is electrocut. Electrocutting is a process where the cable is put into a machine and it's hit with an electrical arc. The intensity from that electrical arc actually separates the piece of cable into two pieces. An added benefit of this is that it actually fuses the wires together. So fraying doesn't happen. However, the electrocutting process can still introduce burrs or deform the cable end. So through a skillful electrocut, you can Fuse the wires together, so no fraying, no burrs are introduced to the cable, and it maintains its concentric shape. In some cases, a plasma weld can also be added to that end to reinforce the cut, and the end result is a conical, smooth, tungsten cable cut that feeds through a mating part with no issue. For a complete list of our products, you can go to savacable.com 
Leave any questions or ideas in the comments. You can find us anywhere on social media. And remember, we have a full machining department that can custom manufacture just about anything. Let us know how we can help you. Thanks.